Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 12FS and today I'll show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. To get started, you'll want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen like so and then swipe down once again. Just make sure you don't swipe on the little sliders right here for brightness or volume as this will obviously change these values instead of extending the list. Now, once you extend the list right here, uh, you're looking for the hotspot toggle, which for me, it is on the second page right over here. Once you see it, if you're doing this the first time around, I recommend holding this toggle as this will quickly take you to the settings where you can change the most important thing, which will be the hotspot password. By default, it is randomly generated and you can see it right here. It looks pretty bad and I'm just going to get rid of it. Set up our own new password, which will need to have at least eight characters in length that can be letters or numbers. Now, below that, we have a couple additional options like security, P band, and hide hotspot. Uh, I don't recommend changing any of these if you don't know what they do, as the way they are set by default just ensures that your hotspot works with the widest array of devices and that it's also protected and easily accessible. Now, if you know what these settings do, obviously go ahead and change them. Uh, anyway, uh, from here, once you change the password, make sure you click on save to save the changes. You can now close this, find the toggle once again, and simply tap on it. And there we go. It is now enabled and you can connect to your hotspot. And once you're done using it, you can also turn it off by clicking on the toggle once again. And let's quickly check if there was... Yep, there is an option to automatically turn off hotspot after 10 minutes of inactivity. I do recommend keeping that option on as this will ensure that once you're done using your hotspot and you just forgot about it, it's not going to waste your battery for no reason or at least not for prolonged amounts of time because after 10 minutes when it detects that nothing is utilizing it, it will just turn off. So that's a good option to have enabled in my opinion. Now, um, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.